ask you again. Mm. Where is that squeaking coming from? It's Matthew, Aunt Nell. Yeah, squeak, squeak. <laughs> Come on, get down. Get down. A hamster! <laughs> the way. <laughs> Joey, you know that under no circumstances are the tenants in this building allowed to have pets. Aunt Nell, Marty said we could. Oh, he did. Then why don't you just take the hamster down to his apartment? Aunt Nell, I can't. Marty's allergic to fur. Come on, please, Aunt Nell. Please, can I keep him? Please, Aunt Nell. Please. Matthew, it's not gonna work this time. <laughs> now, look, he'll stay in his cage all day and you won't even know he's here. Oh, yeah. I'll know he's here. Because I'll be the one that will have to clean the cage. I'll be the one that will have to feed him. <laughs> then I will have to be the one to listen to his problems. <laughs> <laughs> no. Forget it. In You won't believe this, but Joey has a hamster in his room. Really? Yes. Oh, now, I had the cutest hamster when I was a kid. His name was Bobo. <laughs> now, what? Harry's our science class hamster. And now they're going to send him back where he came from, and they're going to use him as a lab animal. A lab animal? Yeah, it's this company called Heavenly Light. They use hamsters and other animals to test their makeup and other dumb stuff. Look, honey, they use animals so they can test the products so they can save the human beings. Aunt Nell, this company even uses rabbits to test their stupid eyeshadow. You know, they put the stuff right in their eyes. And some of the poor little things even go blind. I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, they use all kinds of animals just to test shampoo and conditioner and hairspray. And, and now when they're through with them, they even put some of them to sleep. Well, I washed my hair, conditioned it, sprayed it, put on my eyeshadow. I look great and I feel awful. <laughs> Joey, I just can't believe what you're telling me. I mean, no animal should have to lay down his life for the way that Addie looks. <laughs> It's all true. Please, please, all right, please. All right, honey, I'll do something about this heavenly light cosmetics company. There has to be another way they can test the products without yeah. using the animals, all right? I'll tell you what. Tomorrow, I'll talk to Catherine Lang at work. She's into protecting animal rights, all right? Uh, yes. I want to help, too. I mean, I owe it to Bobo. Mm -hmm. Keep your Bobo out of this. Who's <laughs> Bobo? Oh, he was my hamster when I was a kid, but at least he died of natural causes. A chandelier fell on his cage. <laughs> so does um that mean that we can keep Harry at now? Well, will you leave me alone? Hey, oh, I gotta tell Matt. No, wait a minute. Wait, honey, you got to all that cage, okay? Okay. Hey, Matthew! Matthew! Well, Addie, since I've already saved the Statue of Liberty, I guess I should start saving some smaller things too. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Harry, you know your mother would be so proud of this picture of you. Yes, she would. Now, you stay right there. I'll be right there. You want to answer the door? I'm just what the happy. Happy spot about me. I just want the thought. Yeah. Oh, set it up. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I thought I heard you come in. Oh, yeah, listen. I talked to Catherine today, and she says that a lot of cosmetics companies are spending a lot of money to find new ways to test their products without using animals, right? Oh, that's very encouraging. Yeah, but unfortunately, Heavenly Light isn't one of these companies. Anyway, when I told Catherine about it, she got really furious. And she says that she's going to get her group to do something about it. Oh, that's great. Well, I already threw out all my eyeshadow. Well, that's great. But see, they're going to have a benefit to publicize the problem. And, uh, well, I volunteered us. And I got Marty to cater. And I got you something, girl. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Thing to waste. Oh, no, that is adorable. <laughs> That'll be eight fifty. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look. Hamster. Oh, no, this is so exciting. I, we are really going to do something about this. Yes. I'm sending a hamster to Nancy Reagan. <laughs> Nancy Reagan. Oh, yeah, she can put it on the leash and she can walk it across the lawn when she weighs it. You know, she's getting off the helicopter. You crazy. But you know, I love your ideas because you think big. Oh, yeah, thank you. I think I'm going to go put on my t shirt. I'm starting small. You can say that again. Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about the menu for the benefit or what? Sure. All right. Uh, wait, Marty, you sure you want to come in? I thought you were allergic to animals. Oh, yeah, no. I just told that to Joey so I wouldn't have to take Harry, you know. I can't say no to the kid. I can lie to him, but I can't say no. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hmm? 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 It's real cute. It's real cute. <laughs> Looks like a rat wearing a toupee. <laughs> Looks adorable. Well, you know, I don't like animals. You, know, you never know what they really think about you. <laughs> okay, come here. Let's talk about the menu for lunch, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, now how's about fried eggplant? Great. Right? And uh, tortilla espanol. Mm -hmm. That's the one that comes. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, fresh venison. Yum, yum. <laughs> Marty, we're having a benefit for animal lovers, and you're going to serve Bambi's mother. <laughs> I mean, what's for dessert? 101 Dalmatians? <laughs> I thought maybe uh, chocolate-covered ants. Oh, come on, Marty. Good joke. All right, but you got to make it vegetarian, okay? Come on. Yeah? What do you want it, lady? Mm. <laughs> Just put that over there. No. Okay, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, the boys are not going to take piano lesson, no, darling, because no. I've had it up there here with Mr. Jacoby's saxophone, right? Right. Okay, right. later. Okay. Right. Bye, buddy. Bye. A piano? It'd be good, Addie. She's been watching Sesame Street. <laughs> thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> You know, I have got to speak to Joey. He still has not all that cage. Oh, Addie, you and I are going to write a song for the benefit. You and I are writing a yeah, song? Yeah, I mean, every great American cause has to have a theme song. I mean, like, Hands Across America, We Are the World, Hey, Hey, We're the Monkeys. <laughs> You gotta give me some sleep. Oh, the cage. Yeah. Oh, the cage. 
I want you to sit down, honey. Get in the chair. Hi. Oh, I'll get it. Thanks. Get in the chair, Matthew. Hello? Oh, come on up, Mama Maybell. Matthew, stop it! Get in! Would you give me a little bit of this? Matthew, Matthew, come on! Joey, get up! Come on, honey. Look, when Mama gets here, please do not mention anything to her about the hamster. I see you, Matthew. Don't mention anything about the hamster. See, Mama doesn't like animals. That's why she would let me have a pet when I was a little girl, right? For one, why don't you just get your coat so you'll be ready? Get, get, come on, don't be late for the zoo. A handful. Of <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, would you like some coffee or orange juice, darling? Oh, I'd love some. Boy, you sure are chipper this morning. Yeah, I got some sleep. Last night, I got up in an old Harry's cage. And today, I'm going to give him a bath so he'll look real good for the meeting. <laughs> Hi, Hello, Mama Maybell. How are you doing? Come good morning, Hi, boys. Hi, It's so good to see you. You know, I was just thinking that I'm... Oh, Annie. What an adorable T-shirt. Thank you. It's Harry the hamster. Oh, I love animals. I always wanted Nell to have a pet, but she just couldn't seem to get along with them. <laughs> Hello, Nell. Ma, you told me you were the one who was afraid of animals. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, never stopped you before. <laughs> Come on, boys. Zoo opens in a half hour. Well, listen, you all have a good time today. And Mama, bye-bye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Mama, now, don't, don't stand too close to that lion's uh -huh. cage, okay? Unless it's open house. <laughs> hey, here's your coffee. Come on, let's work this on. Now, what oil did you put on Harry's cage? I used some salad oil on the refrigerator. Why? I think it was rancid. So? Harry must have licked it off. So, Addie, Harry's dead. Huh? <laughs> you killed Harry. Believe me, how, how was I to know that the salad oil was rancid? Now, couldn't you tell? I mean, last night the whole kitchen smelled like an old cigar. But I, I thought that was your spaghetti sauce. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Joey. What am I going to tell Joey? Oh, um, you know how much he loves that hamster. You know, he feels like he saved his life, like he, he rescued him from the jaws of death. Ah! That's Joey. You got to help me. What am I going to tell him? What am I going to tell him? Well, I don't want to see his little face when you tell him. Oh, sure. Run out on me, you old coward. And take off that shirt. You owe me 850. <laughs> Oh, Maggie. Oh, thank heaven, it's you, Maggie. Now go home. <laughs> Why? Maggie, I don't have time to lie to you, so come on here right quick, okay? <laughs> Last night, I poisoned Joey's hamster. He's dead. Now, please go home. <laughs> was it something he said? No, no, see? His, his, his cage was squeaking. His cage was squeaking, so you killed him? <laughs> no, sit down. No, 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 no. See, I couldn't get in to sleep, right? Uh -huh. So I got up and I oiled his cage with some salad oil, but it turned out to be rancid and he licked it off. And he's dead. Yeah. Oh. What are you gonna tell Joey? Truth. I, I well, I, I, I always tell my children the truth. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's so funny about that? <laughs> it's not that. I was just thinking about that old joke about the guy who loves his cat. Oh, please, not one of your jokes. Did you know that joke? No. Well, it might help you with Joey. Yeah? Yeah, you want to hear it? Yeah, okay. All right. See, there's, there's this guy, and he really loves his cat, and he goes away for the weekend, and he leaves his cat with his brother. Cat dies. Right? Calls up the brother, says, how's my cat? Brother goes, your cat's dead. The guy's so upset. He goes to pieces. He goes, why'd you tell me like that? You should have broken it to me gently. 
The brother goes, how am I going to break that to the account? He goes, well, the first day that I called, you could have said, well, the cat's on the roof and we can't get him down. Then the second day I called, you could have said, well, we got him down, but he hurt his leg and he's resting comfortably at the vets. <laughs> then the third day I called, you should have said, well, it's worse than we thought and he passed away in his sleep. <laughs> you know, this way I could have taken it a little better. The brother goes, you're right, I'm sorry, I should have thought of that. He goes, I'm going to miss my cat. By the way, how's mom? Mom's up on the roof and we can't get her. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get it? Get out. <laughs> Pants the killer. Get out! <laughs> about this meeting with Catherine Lang. I'll just have to cancel it. It's too late. Look, I can't have them come on and find out that the hamster is dead. You should have thought of that before you killed them. <laughs> Watch it, Addie. I killed once and I can kill again. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what to do. I know what to do. Well, I'm going to look up pet cemeteries. I mean, I never got a chance to give Bobo a proper funeral, but I'm going to make sure Harry gets one. Hello? Look, I'm sorry, I don't have time for your survey. My roommate killed our hamster. <laughs> Returning shoes at a time like this? No, Harry's in here. You put Harry in a shoebox? He's a perfect 6 -E. Oh, <laughs> take him down to the pet store so I can get one that looks just like him. Oh, oh come on, I gotta replace dear oh. poor Harry. Oh. <laughs> Have some muffins. They're wonderful. <laughs> You know, now, I just can't thank you enough for joining our group and drawing our attention to Heavenly Light Cosmetics. Well... <laughs> it was the least that I could do. <laughs> you know, some of the other cosmetics companies have these uh, tolerance mm -hmm. tests that they use on the animals to prevent injury. And we're gonna force Heavenly Light to start using them. Uh, that's great. So, when do we hear the song? Well, as soon as I get... Oh, would you excuse me? Um, I left something on the stove in the kitchen. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> you get out of here and stop this crying! I miss Harry. Come on, don't you think I miss him, too? It's just that he reminded me so much of Bobo. I keep thinking of his little face. And his little ears. And his little tail. He didn't kill the little tail. Now, come on, listen. We have a perfectly good hamster, and then you won't even pay attention to him. I hate him. <laughs> Can you hate him? You don't even know him. He doesn't have a personality. Shh. He's not friendly like Harry was. Harry was not friendly. He was insecure. He was an erotic mess like every other man in your life. The stone would come in and sing this song. Listen, this song could help other Harrys. It could help other... Bobos. <laughs> other Bobos? Yes. Okay. Okay. Come on. We haven't really rehearsed this number too much, but we put it down on tape for you yesterday. And we hope that you'll get the idea, okay? Don't you dare harm a hair on the head of Harry the Hamster. He's an innocent soul. And he never hung a hair on you Even though profit may ride on the hide of Harry the hamster You gotta try and have a heart Cause that's a human thing to do Don't you dare hung a hair on the head A 
That's Harry right there in the cage. And now I know Harry, and this isn't him. Oh, I don't be ridiculous. Oh, I hope the little boy's not coming down with hamster fever. <laughs> oh, he's so hot. I'd better take him to his room. Now, yes, darling. You'd better tell him the truth. <laughs> uh, Uchi, excuse me. I'm going to catch him with my son. Sit down, baby. Aunt Mel? Yes? There's Harry. Let me get you some milk and cookies. <laughs> no, I don't want any milk and cookies. You don't want any milk and cookies? My goodness, you have grown up. How old are you now, boy? Ten. You're ten? Where's Harry? Where's Harry? You know, it's amazing how time flies when when you're having such a good time. <laughs> Seems just like yesterday, you on our doorstep, and I took you in. Where's and Harry? where's Harry, okay? Well, see, honey, sometimes it's really difficult to tell someone you love the truth, you know? And you know how much I love you, don't you? Yes. And you remember how much you love me, won't you? Because, <laughs> see, now I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? Where's Harry? Yes. Where's Harry? Where's Harry? I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. Uh -huh. Harry's up on the roof, and we can't <laughs> get him down. You know that joke? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take this into the little guy. Maybe it'll cheer him up. Come on, Maddie. Now we can talk about the benefit another day. Yeah. Maddie told us what happened. No, 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 no. You don't understand. You see, he was suicide. I swear to you. He was suicide. Harry was really depressed. <laughs> I know just how you feel. Last week, I backed my station wagon over my daughter's turtle. Three times. Wait, thank you for coming. So, you really killed Joey's hamster. Oh, please, it wasn't my fault. I did not know that the salad oil was rancid and he was gonna lick it off. Uh-huh. Huh. And you wonder why I never let you have a pet. <laughs> or fix me a salad. <laughs> this is great. 
Joey's gonna hate me the rest of his life. No, no, Joey, don't come and get yelling at me. Now I can explain to you about what happened to Harry. Forget about Harry. Herman's much nicer. Who is Herman? You know the new Hampshire you bought? Yeah. He just did something Harry could never do. You what he do? He just had six babies. <laughs> <laughs> 